uh, we are not here to um, have to create synthetic life. I think we are here uh, to be much more uh, practical and uh, and to help uh, actual patients using adult stem cells uh, to improve quality of life, to improve the health, and uh, to um, uh, be ve very ethical in the, in the selection of patients, in selection of cells. That's why we are working on adult mesenchymal cells and not on embryonic cells, for example. I think it can help and benefit on many sides for the development and manufacturing of innovative medicines. Uh, but as I said, it is really important to stick with the safety guidelines and the regulations that are either there or that still need to be developed uh, on an international scale so that they are considered and taken into consideration within such a context. En términos generales estoy en contra de establecer límites a la ciencia, básicamente porque uno no sabe qué nos deparará la ciencia en el futuro y por tanto cerrar determinadas líneas puede ser complicado. Por otro lado, crear vida sintética puede darnos una idea bastante clara de cómo está organizada, cómo funciona la vida natural que conocemos, ¿no? por tanto me parece una buena idea. I think we should be very careful um, with this issue. Uh, it can be justified case by case in case of uh, very severe monogenic disease very, with high impact on health and uh, social consequences. But uh, we should not go in this direction for a multifactorial polygenic disease where the health impact is, uh, is less and uh, where we are not 100% sure of the disease will uh, uh, become. I think it's an important topic, but here the safety regulations and issues are even greater. Uh, and of course this needs to be done really in the discourse, not only with the regulatory affairs, but also with the public. And if this could be achieved, then hopefully in certain selected issues and topics in applied medicine, this could become something very important also in the future. Para mí los límites de la selección de embriones habría que establecerlos en embriones libres de enfermedad. Por ejemplo, ha habido padres sordos que han pedido que se seleccionen embriones que también puedan eh, tener la sordera. Me parece un, una propuesta inaceptable en este sentido. Um, por, eh, por otro lado, seleccionar para características más de tipo social, como puede ser, por ejemplo, la, elec la elección de sexo, no me parece mal. Si esa es una información de la cual disponemos, ¿por qué no utilizarla si eso no va a causar ningún daño a los embriones?